Hello everyone, welcome again to our channel, uh, Adobong Briton. This is Nurse Haji again. And today uh, I'm going to show you how to build a uh, dialysis uh, machine, um, how to put on a patient, and take some blood samples. Okay, uh, let's get to it. So, these are the stuff we need for dialysis. Sterile gloves, dialysis lines, bicart, catheter dressing pack, acid concentrate that contains all the electrolytes, dialyzer, plexane, needle, vacutainer holder, and bottles. So first procedure in preparing the machine is mixing the bicart and the acid. In this case, both acid and bicart will start mixing while we put the lines on the machine. While we're putting the lines on the machine. Next step is to put the dialyzer into the dialyzer holder. Now we are going to attach the arterial line, which is the red color line. At this point, bicart and acid is mixing inside the machine. And the machine is doing all its safety checks. So as you can see, I have attached one end of the line into the dialyzer and just finishing lining the arterial line. Okay, next line we're putting is the venous line, which is the color blue. Okay, I'm putting one end of the line again on the other end of the dialyzer. Then I'm just going to finish up by putting all the lines onto the venous line. And lastly, we're going to put the HDF line. All our machines are centrally supplied with reverse osmosis water. So we use this line not only for HDF but also as a substitution line for priming the machine. Next thing is to prepare our trolley. First of all, we clean our trolley. Let it dry for a bit and then we get our pack ready.
as you can see from here everything should be sterile okay we'll try to just pinch the corners of the dressing pack to make sure we maintain that aseptic technique Okay, we open all the pre-filled syringes of saline. Lexin for anticoagulation. And sterile gloves. Here is our vascular access catheter. There are two ports on our vascular access. The red line, which is the arterial line, and the blue color one is the venous line. So we use antiseptic wipes to clean the catheter before we access it. So this catheter contains antimicrobial solution inside. So first of all, we have to remove the cup at the end of the catheter. Draw at least 3 to 4 mils and discard. and using 20 mils I spray 20 mils of blood out from the line this will ensure that there's no contamination of saline when we take the blood samples so from here we put the vacutainer holder take our samples so as you can see we take yellow sample first for electrolytes and urea and purple for your full blood count after this we should flush the line with saline at the same time checking its patency and if there's any problem with the flows same procedure done on the venous line we aspirate three to four mils of blood to get rid of the antimicrobial solution and then flush it again with saline flush this will ensure that there is good inflow and outflow on both ports of the catheter. Once the line is ready, okay, we're ready to connect the patient to the machine. So first we disconnect the arterial line from the HDF. And using aseptic technique, we should connect our red line to red line. And same with the venous, blue to blue. So there you go. So now the blood is being primed in the line. So you can see as it passes through the filter, filter will turn pink to red 
There you go. So that's your artificial kidney there. Okay, as it passes to the dialyzer, it goes to the venous line, and then the filtered blood goes back to the patient. Once the machine has detected the blood, then the treatment starts. Then set the pump speed according to access pressures and patient's prescription. And at this time, we're going to set it to hemodialysis. there you go guys that's how you uh, connect a patient on dialysis so if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe and add a comment down below and let me know what other stuff you know you want me to to add on my channel okay once again thank you very much and i'll see you on the next one bye